FilmArray is user-friendly multiplex PCR. This innovative system simplifies molecular testing through a completely automated protocol, beginning with integrated sample preparation and ending with automated analysis of results. Starting a film array run is easy. All of the reagents required to test a sample are preloaded and freeze-dried into the reagent storage compartments of the film array pouch. To begin a film array run, the pouch is first placed into the loading block. Then, hydration solution is injected into the pouch through the blue inlet port on the right. The vacuum in the film array pouch automatically draws the correct volume, eliminating the need for precise measuring and pipetting. Next, sample is added to the film array sample buffer. This solution is then mixed and then injected into the film array pouch through the red inlet port located on the left side of the pouch. Again, the vacuum in the pouch automatically draws the required volume. The film array instrument is now ready to set up. The film array pouch is loaded into the film array instrument and a barcode reader is used to enter the pouch ID. The sample ID can also be scanned with the barcode reader or entered manually. Last, the user ID and password are entered and then the run is started. You are free to walk away since all remaining steps are completely automated. The film array displays the remaining time. Now let's take a look at what happens inside the pouch. First, the sample is moved into the lysis chamber where the film array physically lyses any cells and viruses through a process called bead beading. Ceramic beads are agitated at high speed to break open cells and viruses and release the nucleic acids. These nucleic acids are then bound by magnetic beads, which are then moved from the lysis chamber to the purification chamber. Here, a wash buffer removes any remaining cellular and viral debris. The film array activates a magnet outside the pouch, which holds the magnetic beads in place while the debris is washed away. Next, an elution buffer releases the purified nucleic acids from the magnetic beads. The magnetic beads are again magnetically secured while the nucleic acids are moved to the first stage PCR chamber. A reverse transcription step is performed to convert any target RNA into DNA. This is followed by a high-order multiplex PCR involving dozens of prime repairs. During this first stage PCR, many reactions simultaneously occur in this single, large volume reaction. The products from the first stage PCR are then diluted to limit any remaining first stage PCR primers. Next, the diluted first stage PCR products are combined with a fresh master mix and then aliquoted to each well in the array. Each well of this array is pre-spotted with one pair of second stage PCR primers. These second stage PCR primers are designed to amplify sequences contained within the products from the first stage PCR. This eliminates non-specific products associated with traditional multiplex PCR. Because the second stage primers specifically amplify only target DNA. A fluorescent double-stranded DNA binding dye is used to monitor each reaction. The second stage primers in each well are designed to detect one specific target. Organisms are identified based on which wells in the array are positive. The film array performs a melt to confirm the presence or absence of specific temperature signatures of the second stage PCR products. The film array software processes the data and makes a positive or negative call for each organism. These results are provided in one easy-to-read report. From integrated sample preparation to automated result analysis, the film array is user-friendly multiplex PCR.